Chess was originally invented in India around the 3rd century AD. In India, they call it Chaturanga. They design the chess pieces to resemble elements of the Indian army. For instance, armored elephants as rooks, cavalrymen for knights, and foot soldiers as the pawns. Chaturanga traveled from Persia to Europe. They adapted the pieces and improved the gameplay to become what is now considered modern chess. By the year 1000 AD, chess had become famous throughout all of Europe. In the 19th century, the rules of chess have become standardized across all international borders. The king can only move one square in any direction. She can move as many squares as she desires and in any direction, barring any obstructions. The queen cannot jump over other pieces. The rook can move any number of squares in a straight line along any column or row. The rook cannot jump over other pieces. The bishop may move any number of squares in a diagonal direction. The bishop cannot jump over other pieces. Each player begins with two bishops, one originally situated on a light square. Because of the nature of their movement, the bishops always remain on the same colored squares they began on. The knight is the only piece on the board that may jump over other pieces. When the knight jumps over another piece, the knight does not capture the opposing piece. The knight only captures the piece it lands on. Pawns move only one square at a time. The exception is the first time a pawn is moved. It may move forward two squares as long as there are no obstructing pieces. A pawn cannot take a piece directly in front of it, but the pawn may capture an opponent's piece with four diagonal attacks. The pawn then moves only forward unless blocked by another piece. Chess is a simple game to learn. White is always first to move, and players take turns alternately moving one piece at a time. To win, you must trap the opponent's king. This is called checkmate. Each type of piece has its own method of movement. A piece may be moved to another position or may capture an opponent's piece. Once captured, a piece is removed from the game. When a player's king is threatened by an opposing piece, it is said to be in check. The object of a player is not merely to place his opponent's king in check, but to make certain that every square where the king has a possibility of movement is also covered. This is called checkmate. The king is considered captured. The player who is checkmated loses, and the game is over. If one of your pawns reaches the 8th row, it is unable to move forward. The player will want to promote his pawn to be a queen, a bishop, or a knight. This is called promotion. There is a special rule regarding pawns called impasse. When your opponent has moved his pawn two squares from the start position to pass your adjacent pawn and thus avoid capture. On your very next move, you may capture the enemy pawn diagonally as if it had been moved one square instead of two by selecting your pawn and then selecting the square behind the pawn to be captured.
chess has special movement called castling. The square between the king and the rook must be clear at the time, then they can move at the same time. The position of the rook will be opposite and will look like this. There are conditions for castling. First, neither the king nor rook can have been moved previously. If these pieces have been moved, castling cannot be performed. The king may not be in check, nor can the king move through any square in which there is an opponent piece. In the case when moving your king two squares toward the rook, the rook will then move automatically to the square on the far side of the king. There are several rules in chess regarding draws. If a player whose turn it is to play is about to make a move that will bring about the same position for the third time, he can claim a draw. This is called repetition. A draw also occurs when a king is not in check, but cannot make a move without getting into check. The difference between a draw and a checkmate is when the checkmated king is in check, under attack, and has no possibility of getting out of check, while a draw occurs on a king that is not already in check. This is called stalemate. It is a form of a draw. Be careful when attempting to checkmate the king. If you are not careful, your opponent may turn the game into a stalemate, thus you do not register a win. If 50 moves have been made without either a capture or a pawn being moved, either player may claim a draw.